Good morning, student veteran. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Dr. Miata Snedder, licensed clinical psychologist, and I work for US Vets Outside the Wire program here in Orange County. Now, most of you probably know who I am, but many of you don't know who I am. And so I'd like to share a little bit about US Vets and the Outside the Wire program, and then I'm gonna share with you why I'm coming to you via a, a pre-recorded Zoom online platform. U.S. Vets, first of all, is the largest nonprofit provider of free service to veterans in the nation. I could go on about the services that U.S. Vets offers, but we've been around for 26 years. We've predominantly been known in the state of California for housing services. We offer career development. We have a program called Women Vets on Point. And there's a program out here in Orange County called the Outside the Wire Program. I'm the Director of Clinical Services. And so at this point in time, if you're receiving this Zoom online video, it's because the Outside the Wire program is on your campus. And we provide free mental health and case management services on your campus. So even if you're not aware, I wanna let you know that the Outside the Wire program is on your campus. So these are the seven campuses where we provide free confidential and case management services. Coastline Community College, Santa Ana College, Fullerton College, Irvine Valley College, Golden West, Cypress, and Orange Coast College. So if you are a student veteran on any one of those seven college campuses that I just made mention of, that's why this video has been sent to you. And you may be wondering, okay, well, that explains it. Well, why is she sending this video to me? All right, well, here's why. As a mental health provider and as a, a service provider who offers programs on your college campus, the Veterans Resource Center staff members or someone on your campus I've been in contact with has shared with me that some of the student veterans are expressing very similar challenges and concerns now that we're all forced to be hunkered down during this California statewide stay at home mandate as a result of the COVID-19 coronavirus crisis that we're all experiencing right now. So clearly we can't go to the campuses because your campus is closed. The Veterans Resource Center is not operational. And we have no, no idea, frankly, how long that's going to last. So in speaking with some of the staff members on your college campus, I decided that I would come to you via this online platform, and I hope that it helps. So I've got one request to make of you, student veteran. And that is, if after this 10 minute or 15 minute series that I share with you this morning, if it seems to be helpful, all I want you to do is to either email the person who sent this link to you, or give them a call, or make contact with the Veterans Resource Center and let them know, hey, I like that Zoom platform. I like that mental health for student veterans series that Dr. Miata shared. It helps me. It helped me to kind of think outside of the box a little bit or think about my situation in a little bit different a, a way. I, I, I like that. And if you say that it was helpful to you, then I'll find out and, and I'll come to you next week or find a different subject or a different topic. So that being said, I decided I'm not gonna stay inside, I'm gonna come outside. So right now I'm outside in my backyard. Um, there are trees around, you might hear birds chirping, you might hear cars driving by, you might hear voices, laughter, dogs barking, <laughs> that's life. Um, so I wanna let you know that I am outside my backyard because I thought that I would come to you in a very different kind of a platform. So you might hear some noises around me. Please just ignore it and know that I'm providing something that I'm hopeful will help you to get through a difficult time that many student veterans have expressed as a difficult time. Some of you are asking questions about your post 9-11 GI Bill, if the fact that you're having to now go on online um, class formats that means that your, 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 um, your stipend is gonna change. It is not going to change. So if you're getting $2,300 a month before having to go to online classes, you should still continue to get that same amount of money. And if you're not, if anything has changed, then that means you should make contact 
with the Veterans Resource Center and your certifying official or someone on your campus. So what do I wanna to talk to you about today for the next 10 minutes? I'd like to talk to you about how to get through a difficult situation, a difficult time in your life. We all know that as human beings, we're all going to experience a difficult time. But I wanna shed some light by offering you five steps to getting through a difficult situation. And again, my hope is that it helps you and that it causes you to think about things a little bit differently. And then that the one thing that you do is you let your Veterans Resource Center know, I really appreciate it, that information in those five steps. So the first step, and if you would like to take notes, please feel free to do so. You are students after all, so I get it. So you might wanna take some notes. And um, I would actually um, encourage that as a matter of fact. So the first step that I wanna encourage you to do in a difficult situation is to ask yourself one question. And that one question that you're gonna ask yourself is, is the situation that I'm currently in a situation that I can modify or change or adjust in order to make it better? First question, is the situation that I'm in a situation that I can modify or adjust or do something different in order to make the situation a little bit better? So I want you to take a few seconds to answer that question. What's the answer? Can't hear you. I know that's ridiculous. I'm just, it's my goofy sense of humor. I think we all know that the answer to that question, student veteran right now is no, there isn't anything that you can do. We are all hunkered down. We're all facing coronavirus and the ramifications of that, knowing that close to 700, if not more, American citizens have died as a result of coronavirus. So we know that there are a lot of family members who are grieving, who are experiencing loss, who are in a great deal of pain, and our hearts and our prayers and our thoughts, frankly, go out to them. Recognizing that a few months ago, no one imagined that the United States and even the world would be experiencing what we're experiencing and that there are a lot of people who are hurting, a lot of people who have lost loved ones, who are sick, who are in the hospital. And so we have to acknowledge as number one, that there isn't anything that we can do about this situation, not as it stands. So number two is after we have asked that question and answered that question, no, there isn't anything that we can do about the situation. The second step is to acknowledge what that situation is and be honest about it. So what I mean by acknowledge it and be honest about it is don't deny it. Don't be in denial, meaning call it for what it is. Coronavirus is here. We don't have a full understanding of it. We don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know what, this, what impact this is going to have. We know that it might be frustrating and it's difficult. Again, some of the student veterans have said, I'm frustrated, can't go to the gym the way that I'm used to, can't go out to the grocery store. I go to the grocery store and they bought out all the toilet tissue, all the paper towels. It's not like this is the, the apocalypse. Why on earth are people overreacting? That's what some of the student veterans have expressed. So acknowledge that you're frustrated. Acknowledge that in your mind it may not make sense because you've been trained for far worse. Truth is, reality is, as a student veteran, as a veteran, you've been prepared for this kind of a difficult time, but it does not mean that it's not gonna still impact you because your family members may be relying on you. Your children, your husbands, your wives are relying on you. That means you've got to stay hunkered down at home. You can't go to your classes. You can't go to the gym. You can't go to the places that you are used to being able to go to. This might be difficult for you. So that means acknowledging what the situation is and being honest, that's number two. Now let's move on to number three. Step number three is what I like to call leaning into the situation. And what I mean by leaning into the situation as the sun is coming out, I'm so happy to see the sun. But what I mean by leaning into the situation is it doesn't mean that you give into it. It doesn't mean you succumb to it. It doesn't mean that you um, uh, surrender to it. Instead, it means that you accept it that you embrace it, that you not only acknowledge it, but that you lean into accepting that situation 
for what it is and the reality of the situation that you find yourself in or that frankly we find ourselves in. Leaning into it is empowering. It helps take the powerlessness off of it, helps us to feel less out of control because when we lean into it, we're taking an action that we have decided and determined is best for us because we've already acknowledged that there isn't anything that we can do about it. So leaning into it then helps you to think more proactively and to think about what are some of the remedies or resolutions or what are some of the things that I can do about this situation, which leads us to number four, action number four. After we've leaned into it, then we get thoughtful about the situation, meaning get contemplative, contemplate, think about what are some of the resolutions? What are some of the remedies? What are some of the solutions? What are some things that I can do, appropriate actions, to help me get through this difficult situation now that I've already gone through those first three steps? So getting thoughtful for me meant I'm gonna use this Zoom platform, I'm gonna come outside, and I'm gonna talk about a subject that some of the student and veterans and some of the college campuses have expressed as being a little bit difficult for them. I'm gonna try as a mental health provider to meet that student veteran exactly where they are through this mental health for student veterans series or platforms. And the one thing that I'm gonna ask you to do again, as I mentioned earlier, is to let your campus know, the Veterans Resource Center know, that way I know that this has been helpful to you, veteran. I really need you to do that. So I leaned into it and then I got thoughtful and decided I'm gonna reach out to the campuses, find out, find out what we can do, send out emails, We've got Nicole Sodders, who is our licensed marriage and family therapist who provides therapy. We also have Michelle Fuentes, who's our case manager um, specialist who provides financial assistance if you find yourself in a financial need or financial bond, can get you free laptops if you need one, can get you um, housing services, resume writing, all kinds of other supportive services. We as a team out here in Orange County, the Outside the Wire program, are here to help you on your campus to help be a solution to a problem. So being thoughtful means doing something unique and different. And by the way, this is the first time that I've ever been on Zoom and I've ever recorded a video. So if it seems a little corny, pardon me, forgive me, I'm doing the best that I can. Um, so those are the four steps. The fifth and final step is to take the appropriate action after you've gotten thoughtful about it, then take that appropriate action. Sit down with your husband or with your wife. Communicate with them effectively. Say, hey, I want us to do something different. We're gonna start playing some board games since we can't go outside. We're gonna work out together as a family. We're gonna go in the backyard. We're going to cook. We're gonna bake. We're gonna do something fun together as a family unit. We're gonna do something that we ordinarily wouldn't do. I'm going to sit down with the kids and I'm going to do homework with them right along with me as I'm doing my own homework. Normally, I'd be in the Veterans Resource Center doing homework with my other br brothers and sisters at arms, other veterans. I can't do that right now because I'm hunkered down. So I'm going to do homework with my son or with my daughter, with my husband or with my wife. I'm going to do something a little bit different. That's the appropriate action that I'm going to take. I can't go to the gym right now, so I'm going to go outside in the backyard. I'm going to do some push-ups, I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna uh, call someone, my mom, my dad, a loved one. I'm going to really think about how I can utilize this time effectively and utilize this time in a productive way. And you as veterans, you as veterans are really very good at being productive with your time. So this might be an opportunity for you to do something a little bit different so that you don't feel powerless, you don't feel out of control, and you can really take advantage and embrace the beauty of the day. I'm out here, I'm listening to birds, I'm seeing the birds, I'm under the tree, I love nature, I love being out in nature in the natural environment. And so I decided I'm gonna do something a little bit different as I mentioned. So I'm gonna go over those five steps again, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. And again, the first step is ask yourself that question. Is the situation that I'm in right now a situation that I can adjust or change or modify in order to make it different? Answer that question. Number two step is 
acknowledge the situation for what it is and be honest about it. Don't deny it, know it for what it is, call it for what it is, and be as honest and, and authentic with yourself as you possibly can. That's number two. Number three is, oops, that's my computer letting me know that I only have a few minutes. Number three, lean into the situation. Number four, get thoughtful about remedies, solutions. And number five, take that appropriate action. Student veteran, I hope that this has been helpful. I hope this platform has helped you to think about different options and how you can get through this very difficult time. If it has been, let someone know. I'll come to you again next week in a different way and talk to you about a different subject and a different topic. And hopefully, we'll get through this together and I know and I believe that we will. Until then, know that US Vets, the Outside the Wire program, is thinking about you, cares about you, and we're gonna do anything and everything that we can to help make this difficult situation a little bit more manageable for you. Stay well, and I hate to be cliche, stay at home. Until next time, this is Dr. Niata. I'll talk to you later. Take care, bye.